Hello and welcome to First Impressions. I'm Hi. Sam. I'm Ines, sorry. And we're here to talk about our first impressions of Iceland. Uh, for this episode, we'd like to talk about uh, Icelandic media. Um, so like radio, television, uh, streaming services such as Netflix and Hulu. Uh, and uh, uh, if we have time, maybe we'll uh, dive into literature like the press and stuff like sure. that. So let's start with the radio. I should let you know that Sam has a lot more opinions about this than I yeah. do, so I'm gonna keep a little bit quiet because uh, I just want to listen. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna ramble on a, 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 a little bit. Yeah, uh, the first thing that I noticed, one of the first things that I noticed, uh, is the the radio in Iceland. So uh, I got off the plane and I got into the car and the radio was on, and absolutely nothing is censored, like the. It, it, the, there's no awkward silences in rap music, right? It like in in the states, it's all just like a beat, and it it's the it's almost like every everything is quiet yeah. or or bleeped out or or uh, censored with with another or replaced with another word. Word, yeah, yeah, but everything in like it, it's like you you can't say bad words in, in the states but you can say whatever you want mm -hmm. in, in in iceland and and uh it's all played on the radio in, in like roomfo where there's like <laughs> there's kids and there's no like pearl clutching about yeah yeah did you i know like you're more at ease with icelandic than i am mm -hmm. have you noticed if like the the way that people talk on radio is also different like they're more relaxed or if they also can say swear words do you have any idea i would i would think so i think yeah i mean there's not really so the way i understand it is there's there's not much of a censorship yeah. like like in the states we have the fcc which is uh it's like the federal something of censorship uh -huh. and uh and that regulates what you can and can't say on uh -huh. on the radio, on television. That's insane. And in Iceland, there's like a board of ethics. Okay. Which is very relaxed. Like it, it says, you you know, if something's rated uh, 16 and up, then you yeah. can't show it before 9 p.m. Okay. But that's really the only... Like Before to my knowledge, I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody's gonna gonna comment on that, and and we'll hear all about it. But have you noticed that in television, the same thing happens? That it's a lot more freely. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was watching TV the other the other night, and there was there was a graphic sex scene. Okay, <laughs> and it was just like everything was like. It but that's was... really funny because that for me is not weird at all. Yeah, really. Because like uh, we have a lot of soap operas in Portugal. Yeah, and it's quite common that people are just like making out and having sex on TV. Yeah, it's probably gonna. We're very Catholic, so we clench our pearls a little bit. Yeah, uh, harder. Maybe it's not as graphic, but you can, like, a child can tell what's happening. Well, hopefully <laughs> not. Or, I don't know. I don't have a strong opinion on the subject, and I don't think it's important right I, now. I don't really have a very strong opinion about I mean, I, I feel like, I don't know, I, I have opinions, but they're not terribly <laughs> strong. I don't have any kids, so, like, yeah. I don't really care so much what's on TV or what yeah. kids do or don't see. It's... Like, I mean, I, I remember being a, a, a kid and watching things I probably shouldn't have yeah. watched, but that was more violence. I mean, like, yeah, I, that's I, the thing. I, I think in the States, people should be more concerned about, like, violence than they should be about, like, nudity. nudity. Yeah. I think it's like a very real stereotype that Americans have towards Europeans that were, like, very... Uh, Free with the nudity on TV and cinema, it's yeah. absolutely, I think, true. Yeah. So I think, yeah, but uh, so there was like just on normal hour television, just uh, <laughs> just no, like full nudity. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also with the with the TV, I've, I've noticed that the uh, there's no advertisements for alcohol. Okay. Yeah, th that's not allowed. Um, I had no idea. Also, like, I think. I think fast food's not allowed. You you can't you can't uh, show that like, ad or advertise that. Uh -huh. So I think they have to. Th those kind of companies have to 
be find a little, another way. find another way. Yeah, or a, like make salads or something. <laughs> <laughs> or that. Adver- yeah. Advertise the salads. Well, the, the way the alcohol company it, uh, gets around it is uh-huh. they, they have... Uh, uh, they have non-alcoholic beers, All right. that, which they advertise. That's so smart. Yeah, yeah. yeah that kind of makes like you kind of have to grind on your marketing team. Exactly. That's yeah. That's fun. Yeah. I one thing that really fascinated me, fascinated me, is yeah. that with the TV here was like one day I was having dinner and or lunch doesn't no one cares. Uh, <laughs> I was eating and I had the TV like as a background noise. Because I can't really understand what's going on. So it's just like nice company. Mm-hmm. And eventually it all went silent. And it took me like two seconds to understand that like the TV was uh, not emitting any sound. And I looked thinking that like the power went out or that the TV was out of signal. And I realized that it was actually like a news uh, moment mm-hmm. um, done in sign language. And it had no sign, no sound absolutely. And I had never seen anything like that because... At least in Portugal, there's always a, a lady or a man mm-hmm. in the corner signing the news, but yeah. never just like, I have no idea, I should have researched, but I did not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if, if how frequently this happens, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know if it's every day, Yeah. let us know if you do. Yeah. Uh, it was. It would be a nice thing to explore, like, because it's. Uh, I never thought about it, and I was like, huh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's nice to, like, to have a moment dedicated to... Mm, sign language. Yeah, that is really nice. So, in the States, we have closed captions for the hearing impaired. Okay. But the problem with those is um, it's sort of, for, for live news broadcasts, yeah. it, it does it's not terribly accurate. Yeah. For things like TV shows that are scripted, uh-huh. it, it, it's more accurate, but... If you if you had like a, a an interpreter or somebody mm-hmm. doing sign language, then that would uh, I think that would yeah that would be that's that's much more accessible I think yeah and I think it's nice that there's a moment dedicated to mm-hmm. the to that yeah you know not just being an appendix of um, what already exists for right right so the, the rest yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I think it's very thoughtful. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You wanted to talk about uh, streaming services because I've been yes. having that problem. So, uh, sort of going off the uh, like on, on the same topic of like captions and and subtitles and stuff, I've noticed that um, the television, like if it's in a foreign language, there are Icelandic subtitles, mm-hmm. but that doesn't really extend to the streaming services like Netflix. Um, so Netflix was a really like Netflix and Hulu were a big deal to me when I was in the States. And I mean, if you've tried to use Hulu in Iceland, it, you you probably found that it doesn't work. Uh, Uh, there's a way around it though. Yeah. Yes. VPN. VPN. VPN is your friend. Sounds like we're being uh, sponsored by a VPN service. Yes, we're sponsored by a VPN service. Oh God, please. If a VPN service, I don't know. I I can't do that. Yeah, if (laughs) NordVPN wants to give me money, uh, please. (laughs) Uh, Not sponsored, just give us random money. Just just give us money. We don't want a sponsorship. Just please give us money. And also teach me how to do it because I am like completely, like I have no idea. Yeah. um, do computers yeah uh well vpn is, like i use nord vpn myself okay uh and, but is and it a legal thing it is legal I'm so, it's i'm so sorry this is such a informed <laughs> no moment of me. well i mean the show is called first impressions yeah so that's, that's true yeah on iceland and other things yes <laughs> yes uh so vpn is uh it's completely legal uh-huh uh but it will it reroutes your uh your internet mm-hmm. so that uh you're you're picking up a signal from another country yeah basically I, yeah i've heard about it and I, i've read about it several times mm-hmm. to understand if i should get one but yeah the only downside is it slows the internet down quite a bit uh yeah um, i live with 10 people that's not a possibility <laughs> yeah so um but I mean, you you can get Hulu, yeah, <laughs> which is awesome because you get all kinds of other like TV shows and and in a place like Iceland where it's it's dark for a, like yeah. half the year, it's it, it's nice to have some 
something else to do. Yeah, but yeah. it's really nice because, for example, uh, well, there's I think there's only cinemas in Reykjavik and Akureyri. I could yeah. be wrong. I think there's one in Selfoss too. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. Um, but the places that you do have a cinema, for example, in Bio Paradis here mm -hmm. in Reykjavik, there's a lot of sessions where there's English subtitles in the case the movie is not yeah. English spoken. And I think it's really nice because there's a very big Polish community community in Iceland, so you actually have access to like Polish film, mm -hmm. Polish cinema, which I think it's really cool. Yeah. And I think it's really nice that like they once again include like that community in art, which I think yeah. is really special and media in this situation that mm -hmm. we're talking about media. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday I went to watch. Then that's the thing, like like you were saying there's so much dark that mm -hmm. you kind of have to find like other things to do because you can't just go to the park with your friends you right know? yeah and i went to the movies yesterday and it was really nice because it was the movie was spoken in english and there were icelandic subtitles and mm -hmm. then like everything everyone's like like able to go to the movies which is something that you kind of miss when you're like outside of your home country i think yeah 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 mm. and uh so then that brings us to our well next point here is, is uh about literature <coughs> sorry no that's all right literature yes how do you feel about it uh I, in general <laughs> in general well i have an english degree but okay um uh, so I, I i feel very strongly about literature actually okay. i uh I, I pick up books often mm -hmm. uh there's a little free library in the uh uh it's sort of like a, it's called Edestork. Okay. It's like a kind of a, almost a shopping center, but not quite. It's got, okay. it's got a Hogkoip. It's got a Vinbuzen. Okay. Uh, but I'll then there's, stuff. yeah, anyway, it, it, and there's a, there's a little free library there and I'll stop there every time I go to Hogkoip, which is like three times a week and, uh, see if they have any, any books. And I've picked up, got so many like I, I I need to buy another bookshelf, but yeah. I don't have room in my apartment for another bookshelf. <laughs> it's a real problem. <laughs> but Iceland is the it, it like it's the uh, another like it's a, it's the biggest uh, producer of of books. Yeah. Per capita. Yeah. In, in the world, <laughs> I think, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. this year was a special year when it comes to public like Icelandic publications. Yeah. Like. Um, there's a story in Grapevine somewhere about it. You should yeah. research it <laughs> if you're into it. Because shameless I don't, plug. <laughs> shameless plug. Because I don't. I really don't want to misquote it because right. I think I wrote it. So <laughs> I don't want to misquote it and be like, "Oh, guys, sorry." Uh, but yeah, and there there's bookstores everywhere. Even like I I don't know how to. What's the? Do you have a word in English for like a person that collects books and then sells them like secondhand? Because we do have a word in Portuguese, but I don't know if it's a thing. Like, it's a type of business where you resell old books. I mean, used bookseller, but I mean, yeah. not, not a specific word, no. No, because what's, this, a, what's the word in Portuguese? Alfa Revista. Okay, I'm never going to remember and that. It's, no, it's just basically someone that, like, takes old books, takes care of them, and resells them. So, or, like, just is a keeper of the books. That's great. Yeah, yeah, like you know the in I don't know street names. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. In the in the street of Bio Paradis, in the, there's a corner yeah. store, a corner bookstore. Yeah, on Credit Score. Oh my God, it's a great store. I've never been. Do you, in know, there. do you know the name of the store? I don't, but I know I'm what so I know the story you're talking about. It's you it's, should look for it. It's on Credit Viscata. Yeah. Yes. If you're visiting Reykjavik, you should look for this bookstore because it's a magical place. I believe I could be wrong that they don't have an organizational system for the books. No. Except they have one <laughs> shelf where they organize the books by color, <laughs> which is the best organizational system I've ever seen myself. Because it's like I want to read a pink book today. And yes. Go there. Yeah. I mean, There's a lot of books in English too. That's great. I'll, I'll have to stop by there sometime yeah, and for just sure. get even more books and stress my wife out even more about the storage <laughs> space. <laughs> what's your, what's the, have you read like um, Icelandic authors? Yeah, uh, there's a, uh, one of my favorite authors is uh, Anna Mar Goodmanson. Okay. Uh, he wrote Angels of the Universe. All right. Uh, which is a critically acclaimed novel about a young man who is uh, battling uh, schizophrenia. 
Okay. And uh, and his own personal demons, and it's it was written in I want to say 1995. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's it's an amazing novel. It, it, it you can find it in English. Yeah. Uh, so for those of you who are, uh, uh, did you read it in English? I or? did. I did. I read it in English. Uh, do you, do you, have you ever thought about like trying to read it in Icelandic? I, I, I would love to read it in Icelandic, but I, I I'm still on the children's books. Yeah, I'm I'm still on the children's <laughs> books in Icelandic myself. My my uh, Icelandic is it's okay. I can have a conversation, but uh, it's it, it's not as uh, I. It needs to get better before I can start reading, I think. All right. <laughs> but that's a good suggestion. Yeah. I, I have yet to read, like, an Icelandic author. I was reading, I think, when you come to Iceland, you, you're told to read Laxness, and then mm-hmm. another book that is, like, uh, Burial Rites. I cannot right now remember the name of the author, and I'm mm-hmm. so sorry. Uh, I read that book. It's about um, some murders... Yeah, it's quite like it's not quite fiction. I, I'm tell I'm I'm really trying not to say stupid things, so I'm <laughs> gonna stop talking because I really don't <laughs> want to say things wrong. No, but, yeah. no, you're good. You're good. We're but yeah, there's a lot to choose from. Yeah, so, and there's a lot of translation. So yeah, yeah. So that yeah, uh, there's a lot of really good Icelandic authors, and yeah. it, it, you can find them. And most of them are translated into into English. Um, Ragnar Jonasson is, uh, he's a very prolific crime author. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so if you like crime novels, you can, uh, he, he writes like Icelandic noir. It's kind of funny. There, there's a lot of, uh, like sort of crime drama mm-hmm. in the world of Icelandic fiction, but Iceland is like, a there's almost no crime I, I don't there's but there's a Nordic obsession with like yeah, true crime true isn't cri- it yeah yeah true crime and like it. I, I don't know if it's like a there's Scandinavian podcast? thing I is it like I don't know I think they're just like they project their fantasies into fantasies because clearly uh, there's not I don't know like we in other countries you just do the crimes <laughs> 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 I mean for we I don't mean I but I mean my, you know the United States like yeah they just do it it's yeah, uh, <laughs> it's complicated. Yeah, but yeah, you wanted to talk about the gratuity of newspapers, right? Yeah, there's so there's some free newspapers in Iceland, which is awesome. I mean, obviously, the grapevine, the, is Reykjavik, one of the-, the Reykjavik grapevine, it's free. It's on every corner in the capital region, yeah. and it, uh, we produce it throughout the the rest of the country as well. Uh, and uh, it's free online. You'll you'll never have to pay for it. Um, but, uh, and then there's also Frektablades, which, yeah. which is, uh, it's, uh, it's also a free newspaper. It's entirely in Icelandic, but it's free and yeah. you can pick it up. And if you're trying to learn Icelandic, it must be nice. Yeah. It's not, yeah, it, it's nice to, to pick it up and, and see what the, the language looks like. So. Great news for Icelandic media then. Exactly. Yeah. Everything sounds quite nice. Yeah. Do you have anything you'd you'd like to like shave on? Is that a thing you say in English? To like, shave on. Shave on. No. Is it not an expression? No, I, it's not a phrase at all. It's not not in English. Uh, no, yeah, but that's okay. that's interesting. Yeah. What one of the You know what the, I mean, right? Yeah, no, one of the benefits <laughs> of this podcast is uh, finding out what what Portuguese <laughs> what, phrases? what phrases exist in other languages. That's uh, that's so fascinating. How embarrassing. No, no. Sometimes I will say like something very confidently, yeah. like in in English that makes no sense. Yeah. And I was like Oh, okay, but that's not what we're here to No, that's okay. Sometimes I say say things in English with absolute confidence and people look at me in the same way. Yeah. And English is my first language, so... We do have a little column in the grapevine where we talk about Icelandic sayings. Yes, we do. Just saying. So... You should check We're that out. We're just plugging everything. Exactly. That's the that's the job of interns, it's I guess. Sh- shameless plug hour. That's right. <gasps> All right. Well, I think we've rambled on enough. Yes. Uh, that should conclude this this podcast. Thank you for listening. Uh, and watching, maybe. Watching, if you're watching on YouTube. And uh, tune in next week. Bye. 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 <laughs>